Hi, I'm Eric Haney from Haney Reels here with Rob Mochman. Rob today is going to demonstrate how to change the seal packing in our balance pressure series of swivel joints, also known as BP swivel joints. These are commonly used on our spring retractable reels. Uh, Rob has a half inch version. The process or procedure, I believe, Rob, would be the same for the larger one inch, but why don't you go ahead and show us what we need to do on the half inch. You're absolutely correct, Eric. Basically, a couple of easy tools to take and uh, pull the swivel joint apart, snap ring plier, and I'm gonna use a pick when we get inside. Um, basically, we're gonna take and remove the snap ring from the body of the swivel. We're gonna remove the female portion. So we're calling that the body and that the stem, is that, that correct? That is correct. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna remove the seals, the old seals, and the old backup rings. Set them off to the side. I'll just roll them right out of the way. I'll let you hand me the rest when you're done. The last of the backup is out. Okay. And I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove the second snap ring. Basically, the supplier has provided us with two replacements. So we've got two snap rings, two O-ring seals, and four backup rings. Now you've got almost everything off. Do you need to do any kind of inspection of the stem before you do the replacement procedure? Absolutely. We want to make sure that the stem, and of course, we're having a technical problem here. We're going to move him out of the way. Thank you, Eric. We're going to inspect it just to make sure that there is no defects or any type of a corrosion on the stem. Okay. Also, I'm going to check the female portion just to make sure the body does not have any corrosion or... Okay. It's... Obviously, if it did, you would recommend replacing the entire swivel. If, if there's any blemishes, basically, right. a seal kit to this would okay. be like a Band-Aid. But... It's not going to work. This looks so good to you, so we At this we'll... point, we're going to clean them up. I will, in the meantime, hand you a new seal kit for when you're ready. See up here. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in. Now, snap rings, snap rings have two sides. There is a rolled side, which is a smooth side, and there's a little bit sharper edge, okay. which we call the back side. We're going to put the back sides of these out this way. So sharp edge facing out. Sharp edge facing out. This way it does not lend any type of a and we should Wear point out point. we should point out while you're putting this on that uh, the manufacturer has provided uh, very good instructions on how to do this. Um, we're basically reversing the order that you took these off, correct? That is correct. Okay. I'm going to take each one of the seals, roll them in place. Remember, it's a balance pressure. It requires two two seals. Seals. Okay. And you're carefully sliding the uh, the first O-ring on in place, I'm gonna put which the has second further to travel. Okay. And just make sure that they roll on there, that they're not twisted or anything. This way, when the female portion, the body goes back in place, it'll be easy to take and uh, okay. roll off of that. Now, the backup rings have got a slight, have got an angular cut to them. Basically, what we're going to do is make sure the angular cut lines up with one another. If they're installed backwards, that will take and um, literally start to cut into okay. the seal, prematurely wear that out. Right. So, as so we, you've got four of these to do. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. The key is to just make sure that they make contact correctly with, with the, the With okay. the, um, that is correct. And you got to remember, you're going to have two backups to each one of the seals. I'm going to line them up so that the grooves coincide with one another. Okay. This one looks like it's done. Looks pretty simple, but you want to take so your you want to take your time to make sure you do it correctly. Put it together. We're going to drop this one in behind. So what we've got is you got your two backup backup rings. You've got your seal sandwiched in between. Okay. We're going to take and just safely put the silicone base grease in this. All right. I'm going to take and put the female body back on. The female body has a chamfered side and it also has a solid side, basically okay. a sharp edge. Chamfered side right. It's made to take and 
slide right over Makes the... It easier to slide back on. In place. So I heard a snap there. Pushed right in place. Okay. Everything's good. Hopefully you have First one, snap ring, was in one place. snap ring left. Good. We're down to the snap ring. Take a quick look. Get your rolled side in. Sharp side will go out. Get our friendly snap ring pliers out. Set the ring in place. Be sure that the snap ring is locked in the groove. This is the key. You want to make and sure that is in the groove. And, and your swivel joint is now repaired. Great. Rob, thank you.